Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy and I'm here to share the July hip kits with you. The main kit, the embellishment add-on, the cardstock add-on, and the pattern paper add-on. So I'm going to show you all those as quickly as possible. So this kit is super fun and super summery and it has some awesome new collections that I think you guys are going to be really excited about. So I'm going to just going to start real quick with the cardstock add-on. You get two pieces of this like kind of it's a more pale yellow, this really pretty melon color, this kind of citrony lime green, two pieces of white and two pieces of craft. So there are 10 um, pieces of cardstock total in the add-on. And then as far as pattern papers go, some really fun things I think. So the first one is from Ellie's Studio and it's from the Let's Eat collection and this paper is called Five Stars. So the first side is a little bit of a mustardy but it's kind of a muted mustardy color and then it has these little rows of five stars that look very hand drawn and I like how they're not like in a perfect pattern. They're kind of jumbled a little bit and you can see up close. And then the opposite side is this really cool white like white white and gray not really a chevron um but it's kind of like a diet like I don't, I don't really know what to call that pattern but anyways this is the side that was facing up so i'm gonna keep the sides that were up um showing so we can see how they all look together so that's the first paper and then the second one is from the crepe paper poolside collection and it is called lawn chair and the first side is a really pretty i think it's navy and kind of a cream stripe diagonal stripe and then the other side is this really cool it's almost like a parquet floor but then it also has like a star pattern to it so it's really interesting i really like that so you have those two and then the next one is from october afternoon summertime collection that's called swimming pool and the first side is this it's a little bit of an off-white as you can see compared to that um, Ellie's Studio paper that's really white and it has a bunch of words. I really like the font and then some of the words are in different colors so like strawberries, bike ride, yellow bikini, pool party, skipping rocks, you know, and all these different colors and then the other words are in kind of, I think it's, it's a gray color. It's not jet black. It's really, really cute. And the other side is this little bit distressed um, teal with a cream like a large cream polka dot. Next paper is from Fancy Pants Summer Sun and it's called Just Beachy. We got a couple of these papers in last month's kit so if you have any leftovers they'll go perfectly with this month's kit. And the one side is kind of like a little daisy pattern on a hot pink background and then this side is a really cool stripe. I really love these colors. It's like a mint color, a yellow, an orange, a pink, and then a like more uh, fuchsia pink. Next paper is also from October Afternoon Summertime and it's called Backyard Lights. And this side is kind of a cream color with a tiny, tiny gray polka dot. And then this color is really cool. It has those, um, I don't know what the exact term, uh, cafe lights on a gray background. Next is from Crepe Paper Poolside. And this one is called Pool Time. And it is this really cool, like, divided pink and yellow paper. I really like this. And then it has a little bit of, like, distressing on one side. And then this is a really cool, it is a chevron pattern, but it's like these almost watercolor dots. It's really neat. Then we have Crepe Paper Journey collection. This one is called Happy Camper. And this side has some really cute little campers in teal. And it's a very like distressy background you can see compared to these other papers. And then this side is a really nice um, like big diamond pattern, like nested diamonds. It's really cool. It's a really pretty color. It goes with the other papers really well. This is um, the last two are October afternoon, summertime. This one is called Flower Garden. And this side is kind of like a teal quatrefoil type pattern. And then this side is this really cute floral pattern and it kind of has a little bit of a hand-drawn look to it but I like how it picks up the orange in this striped paper and incorporates all the different tones of yellow and stuff and then 
also the blues. It just does a really good job of tying everything together. Then the last one is called Sunshine and it has this really cool, very busy pattern on this side, which, which also has all the colors of the kit. And then this side is a really cool like sun ray or sunburst pattern. So I think that's really, really pretty. Now the, I'm going to go ahead and show you the pattern paper add-on because there is something that's a little bit different this month in the pattern paper add-on. So you get um, all of the papers that come in the in this kit except for two. You do not get the pool side pool time paper which is this one and you do not get the wait it's just actually it's just this one you just don't get this one sorry the pool side pool time paper you do not get but what you get instead is this paper from simple stories called summer vibes and it has all kinds of really cool cut aparts and we got one of these papers last month that looks like this but it's all one paper so if you have an extra you can use that so this is a bunch of four by or three by four cut aparts which are really fun and there's also a lot of things that can be used as embellishments like you could totally cut out that ice cream cone or that camera that would be really fun and it's double-sided so you get lots of options I like that hello summer that's really fun Bucky lemonade so that's the difference in the pat so this would be the pattern paper add-on just we switched out this paper for this paper. So that's the difference, I believe. I think that I'm correct in saying that. Yes, there are nine papers in each one. So then the rest are um, the same, you know, doubles of the same. So those are the papers. I'm just gonna move those aside and move on to the embellishments. So the first embellishment in the main kit is this awesome sheet 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard from the poolside collection it is so cool i'm going to take it out of the packaging just so that you don't have a glare on it and i really love that it incorporates hang on i'll try to remember to edit this part out <laughs> I just really love that it has all these gold accents in it. And I hate to keep like referencing last month's kit, but in, sorry about my squeaky chair. In last month's kit kits, there was a variety of things from the poolside, the frames, the ephemera, the little um, embellishments, these um, six by 12 stickers, and then also some like word thickers. So I've said this a million times, but I feel like the hip kits just like add to each other and this is definitely an example of the carryover from one month to the next which I think is really great because I don't know about y'all but I, I don't ever maybe a couple of times once or twice I've used an entire kit in one month because there's just so much um, but anyhow so this is really fun chipboard and I think a fun thing to do with this you can either leave it on this whole um on here or depending on how you like to store things or how much room you have you can pop them out and then use some like an embossing powder tool on the back to take off the sticky and then you can just place them in like a little container or something and just like kind of rifle through them whichever way you know works best for you but I think it's fun because there's there's a lot of smaller things on here too that you could use you know these little tabs are really fun the little Swiss crosses these little things these could be kites or like diamonds or just embellishments. Um, these little words. So there's lots of things that aren't like these big, huge icons. There's like three different things here. There's two frames and then this inner piece and then another little frame. So there's lots of, I think, a variety. Some of these things I'll probably have, I'm just going to be honest, I'll probably have a hard time using like this diving lady and this ice cream truck and this scooter and probably these like bathing suits and the umbrella and the sunglasses. I'm going to say those are going to be my challenges. The rest of it I could easily use, but I think those are things that are fun for like the perfect pictures, you know, that come along every once in a while. So I'm sure sometime in the future I will find the perfect pictures to use those, but in the meantime I'll use all the rest of them. So that's the first embellishment. That was a long explanation for that, wasn't it? Sorry about that. And then there are two alphabets and then three other things three other embellishments. You get a lot in these kits, I'm telling you. It's like a ton. So the first alphabet is 
super fun. I love these. These are from October Afternoon. They're called Daily Flash, Flash Alpha, Gray Flint flannel shop front. I know it's a long name, but there are these uppercase, just flat alphabet stickers. You get a whole ton of them. And then when you flip it over, you also get the little tile stickers that also have numbers and the alphabet also. So you get a really good value with those, I think. Then we get a set of stickers. I love these stickers. They are awesome. They're called Adorn. They're foam. There's a super simple, thin, black uppercase letter. I just really, really like these. I haven't seen these before. I've never had them before and I'm super excited for them. So you get not a whole ton of numbers, like two of each, which I think is good. You get a bunch of punctuation, which I think is fun. I love the brackets in particular. I don't, I don't normally use the asterisk sometimes or the at symbol. I don't know. I would prefer the hashtag, but you know, whatever. There's five ampersands, which is awesome, and also five exclamation points, which is cool too, and lots of little dots. And these things are really fun to use as embellishments because you don't need to dot your I's because, or your J's, because they're uppercase. So you have all these fun little dots to play with, which I think is fun. So that's the second set of alphabets. And then from October afternoon, let me zoom in a little bit and show you these. From October afternoon, summertime line, these are called pop drops. There's 54 enamel stickers and they are basically enamel dots, but they have also have shapes. So you get stars and hearts as well as dots, which is really fun. I really like these. Now there's not like the tiniest size, you know, like on the My Mind's Eye ones or something. They're kind of the medium size and then the larger one, but the larger one is not as big as the other ones. I love the size of these stars though and the hearts, and I love the colors. So this is gonna be really fun. The shape of the heart is also very cute. So you get a whole pack of those. It's not like a half pack or anything. Then, how adorable is this wood veneer? This is from Ellie's Studio, Let's Eat. So, so cute. A fork, a knife, and a spoon. There's a little like Starbucks cup, and there's also a coffee mug. You have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Fave, good stuff, yum, love this. We ate here. I give this and it has the stars and then you get this like ice cream cone with the cherry on top and look at this piece of pizza it has like like a tomato on it and a mushroom look how detailed that is I think it's super funny and then a really cute little heart over here so there are 17 pieces in this pack and then the last embellishment in the main kit is for also from Ellie's studio and it's also from the let's eat line and it is a pack of ephemera there are 25 pieces this is what the back looks like and i'm going to take these out and show you what they look like so i always um remember well try to remember to keep the packaging like the backing of the Ellie Studio products because I love that grid to go like red and white grid so cute okay so we have but first either you can check either coffee or tea so if you're not a coffee drinker a little banner that says Bon Appetit a little documented a cute tab that says remember this it's a little label oh I love the Ellie Studio heart it's my favorite shape a lot of times I will trace this onto the pattern paper and then cut out my own because I like to use them so much. This one says, good, delish, amazing eats. It's a little tag. Oh, there's more hearts. A pink heart and then a gray heart that says this on it. This one says, yummy treats. My fave. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, sweet and spite or sweet and then spicy. So you could put either one. This one says, um, this was the best, was here, dig in, and then the little fork and knife and spoon. Then you have this larger card that says details and it says breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then two places for snacks. There's the other way. Then this little tab, a couple of little pennant or banner shapes. And they, this one, these two have holes in them. I'm trying to punch the holes out so you can. So this cheers. This one says sweet treats. And this one says I love everything about this. And then this larger tag. So those are all of the embellishments that come in the 
let's eat. And now I'm going to move on to the embellishment add-on. Okay, so this month the embellishment add-on comes with some really fun things. There's a couple things from the Simple Stories Summer Vibes line. This one is, it says Summer Vibes Washi Paper Tape. 288 pieces. This is what the back looks like. And then this is what comes in there. And they are, they look to be about like three by four pieces of paper. And there are strips of paper tape on here. It's not, or is this one solid? Wait. Oh, I think this is, maybe this is just showing you. Yeah, this is just an example paper. I think that's not really, sorry. Okay, here we go. So there are strips of this paper tape on here and see it's not transparent like washi tape, but there, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell what's cut out of this, but as you can see, there's little circles there at the bottom and then there's different strips and they're different thicknesses. So it looks like you get two of each and I think they're all the same. Yeah. They all have like the four circles at the bottom and the different strips. So then you have this polka dot one. And I'll try to show you that they're not at all transparent. So you see they're just like a strip of tape, I mean of paper. And then you have this diagonal stripe. So let's see, we have, and those, and then this polka dot on kind of a tealy mint background, this super bright yellow, which is really fun, a diagonal pink, oops, this little floral, Another little floral, a polka dot. I like this one. This one's really fun. These kind of big, bold stripes so that when you pull up one of the strips, you get a little bit of each color, which is really fun. Then we have another floral and a grid with some dots. So you get, oh, this is just showing you like which papers there. Sorry. All the different kinds of washi. So that is really fun and there's a whole I mean there's a ton in there I don't know it would take me forever to use all that unless I thought of a project to get it all used up with um then there are also from the summer vibes line from simple stories there's a set of chipboard frames there are 24 pieces in here and it's so small it's so cute how it comes packaged it's not like a huge thing of packaging um this is what the back looks like which I really like, by the way, I'm saying that I really like that there's not like a huge thing of packaging because I feel like sometimes it's just overkill. So I'm going to open these up. Okay, I'm gonna try to open these up. <laughs> okay, it might be a little, but it's mighty, jeez. So did I tell you there are 24 pieces in here? So I'm going to start with what looks like the smallest ones. So there's a few that are like a solid color at the top in a different kind of shape and then a wood grain at the bottom, which oh here's some more. Those are really fun. I really like those. I think it might be fun to put all of those on one layout, like in different, I don't know, in some kind of way that would be fun. And then you have some patterns and these are probably just the patterns from that collection. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not familiar with everything in this collection. And then one more floral. So you know, a bunch of that smaller size. It's probably like maybe two by two. Let's see. No, that's not, that's not that big. Like I'm going to tell you what the, the whole thing is. Yeah, it is. It's two by two, but the inside is going to be a little bit smaller than, than that, obviously, because you have to have room for the frame. Okay. And then the next size are these, which are, have really cute detail on the top. And then at the bottom, they have little words in all different fonts. So you have selfie, perfect, so cool, and sunshine. And then there are three kind of medium size with the rounded corners. You have this one that kind of looks like a Polaroid, like the Polaroid thing. And then the pink diagonal and then that bright yellow. And then there are a couple that are have squared off corners. 
It's a really fun pattern. Those look very sassafras to me. I like those a lot. And then the largest, are, we have four of the largest ones, and they have the rounded corners, and this is what they look like. And they're a nice, sturdy chipboard. You know, they're not flimsy like some of the other frames that have come out recently. I love this one with the grid. So you get all of those frames. You have all those frames, all that washi, and then you get a roller date so, roller date stamp from October Afternoon Daily Flash. This one is called Summer. That's what it looks like. This is what the back, so the phrases look like. So we have Here Comes the Sun, Blue Skies. I'll just let y'all read that. That best friend is like my favorite. I'm going to show you a little thing which y'all probably already know. But just in case, I'll show you anyways. So one thing I really like about well, there's a couple things I like about these October afternoon real art stamps, or phrase stamps, really. One is that they're big. Like, the phrases are a lot bigger than some of the other ones. The other is that there is a coordinating number to each phrase. So if you look on the back, like, for instance, that one says best friend is number five. So what you do, here it has a little opening, if you can see that, and you can see the numbers. So you would turn the dial until you find number five until it shows a five in the little opening there. I don't know if you can see that. So we can see on the bottom that it is the best friend saying, but you'll notice that next to the best friend is a different number. It says, well, either nine or six. I can't tell which way it's supposed to go. So that's kind of confusing because you think that this number might be, that this number here on the bottom next to the phrase is the number of the, of the phrase, but it's actually not. You want to pay attention to the number that's in this little opening, not the number next to here. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so that is really fun. I'm excited about that. Then there are some tin pins from the new summertime line, six self-adhesive metal badges, and they're not super thick, which is nice. As you can see there. And then I have been eyeballing this, and I'm so excited that it came in this kit, I think it is so cool. It's from the Poolside Collection from Crate Paper. It says six jar pockets, but you get all this other stuff, like all these little embellishments. And then this is what it looks like here. And then if you flip it over, there's like this gold confetti or sequins and stuff, and then a bunch of this twine. So I'm gonna open this up and show you what exactly it is or what exactly I think that it is, because I think it's one of those things that you probably use in a bazillion different ways, but this is just, what I'm gonna probably do with it. Sorry about the noise. Okay, so what I think, and I'm sure that you could probably go on the Crate Papers website or something to get an, a definite answer to this. I think that the concept here is that you have these little mason jars and there are six of them Let me kind of do this so you can see them all. Okay, so there are six of them. Now, two of the craft ones are completely plain. And then this one says small treasures. On the white ones, we have little hearts that say love this, a plain one, and then one that says happy. Now, these are open. There, there's like a little piece of acetate, that's acetate that is stitched around except for at the top. So the top is open. So basically, you have a pocket. You can see I'm sticking my finger inside there. There's a pocket. So you can fill this pocket with some of these little embellishments, perhaps. These are, why are these stuck together? Because there's a foam dot on here. Okay. So you can put some of these little embellishments in here that come, or you could put some of this, um, these sequins and you can see they left the center of the sequins in the pack which makes like gold confetti which is so fun and you can totally use those things separately and then you can tie it up with some of this twine is what I think but I don't know maybe you could use the fuse on this I'm not sure but that's what I think the purpose of of these are I would like to do a little bit more investigative work but I will show you what the little embellishments look like because you could totally use these you know some just on your layouts if you wanted to if you didn't want to if you wanted to use those for something else 
So you get, there's some glitter pieces in here and then some really cute little words and some glittery hearts, three of them. This cute little tag and then this other cute little tag. So that's what all comes in that little pack of embellishments. So if you can see my desk right now, it is like filling up with embellishments from this add-on. Then there is a set of thickers and it is the Fitzgerald font. I think this is from the new Chamel line. Oh, you can't even see that. And there are 183 and it is a foam silver glitter thicker and there are a ton on here and they're super, super thin. So you get, I don't even know, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight A's, like a ton. So I'll show you compared to the one that comes in the main kit. You can see the difference, like how jam packed this one is versus this one. Um, but there's just a ton on here. And then you also get two of each number, it looks like, and a couple ampersands and um, question marks, a hashtag and some brackets. So really fun. I like that. We also got silver in the last in last month's kit, so you can write those. And then these, I believe, are also from the new Chamel line. The the top uh, on mine at least was cut just to fit in the because I think they're super long to fit in the um, pack in the box, you know. So um, yours may just be folded. I'm not sure, but I know that, I'm pretty sure these are from Chamel, and I'm pretty sure they're from her newest line, which because I have the ones from the previous. I don't remember them looking like this. Anyhow, there are these cork embellishments. They're already adhesive. And like this one says, let me tell you a secret. Believe a little um, typewriter. Oops. A camera, some clouds, a bunch of hearts. And embrace today. Lovely little life. That's really cute. And then like a new, like a house you could use for a new house or something. Which is fun because we moved, just moved not too long ago. So I could probably do something with that. So that is the embellishment add-on. So that is everything for that I have from the July kits, make sure to check out the hip kit website so that you can see everything that's available for the month of July because there's also a color add on and a project life kit and maybe one other thing. I can't remember. Anyhow, thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you all real soon. Bye.